Yamaha presents the Whitetail Diaries, chronically hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the Whitetail Deer. In many areas of the nation, whitetail populations are at or above the carrying capacity of the land, so hunters must ensure the herd is balanced. This is only done through the harvest of both bucks and does. Years ago, many landowners, hunters, and others felt that you never shoot a doe, only shoot bucks. The end result to those type of plans in almost all cases was that you ended up with way more does than bucks in your herd. The team at Whitetail Diaries has always been aggressive in the management of does to ensure a well-balanced herd. It's not uncommon when laying out our harvest plans for the year to plan to harvest two to three does for every buck they harvest. This not only fills the freezer, but also provides great hunting opportunities for hunters of all skill levels. We've had some memorable management hunts this season. One that stands out is Emily Gieske's first ever deer hunt. It was, it was a really cool experience. Shooting a crossbow was not as hard as I thought it would be. It's actually quite easy. It's like a gun. Like, it has that bow power, like, feeling, but it feels like you're shooting a gun, and it's really cool. Set up in a pop-up line, and then I got in front, and then my dad got next to me, and then Mr. Wade was in the back. So I'm getting ready to shoot the doe, and then the buck happens. The buck comes, and he goes right behind it, right behind her. And it's just, oh my gosh, because, yeah, he goes right behind her, so I can't shoot her. And I felt really nervous about it. And then, I don't know, I think my dad was sweating bullets more than I was. That. I don't know if we're gonna find no. it. it. Oh, what do you mean? I, I guarantee don't... you, we're gonna find that I'm... deer well, within. Is a... <laughs> so here's the deal: when you hunt with a crossbow or bow, even though that was a perfect shot, it's probably not that. Well, we don't want to bump it. We don't want to push it. So we always give we always give the deer time, and then we'll go look. But I guarantee you, 100%. That was a perfect shot. My dad, he was like, oh my God, that was your first deer. That was your first deer. <laughs> I think he was crying. I, I'm not 100% sure. You should ask him that. Perfect. Oh, come here. That. High five it. High five it. Can I hunt a buck next year? Yes, you can hunt. That's, that's the progression. Right here. There. There she is! <laughs> hey, congratulations, Emily, on your first ever entry into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides real world tough. Cabela's, it's in your nature. 
Thompson Center, America's master gunmaker. Introducing the newest member of the Yamaha off-road family. It thrives in the most remote, rugged terrain. It never steps down from a challenge and travels long distances in search of adventure. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine. It's a whole new animal. It's in our stomping grounds, in our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him, it was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Comfortable to carry, comfortable to shoot. It's slim, concealable, and powerful protection. The M&P Shield by Smith & Wesson. Confidence? We perfected that years ago. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Well, Paul Pluff is back in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries deer camp for another handgun hunt, and Wade has him placed in an active tripod setup. We've got him set up in these very tall tripods, and it's kind of in a valley. It's definitely a major travel corridor where deer are coming back and forth, and we're sweetening it up with a little bit of deer corn out there, and these deer are moving from a lot of different directions, but it seems like to us, when we start looking at scouting cameras, a lot of the better deer are sliding in from the right. There's no telling what we're gonna see in this situation. We've got Paul situated about 25 to 30 feet up in the air, wind it's not going to be an issue so basically it's just going to be sit and wait it out and see what shows up so we got in uh that morning uh some does came in um a couple decent sized eights came well as a seven point came in and then a decent size eight the eight point uh kind of was really wanting to shoot that but he never really came out and he spent more time chasing around that seven point to kick it away from the does and then they finally took off uh, and that was pretty early in the morning. Probably 45 minutes went by and we just had a pile of turkeys came out. Uh, I mean, if I was here turkey hunting, I would have been in heaven because I counted 22 of them.
Uh, they kind of came and gone, and just as they were leaving, uh, something that I had not ever had a chance to shoot down before uh, came strolling in. First, I thought it was an eight point, and then got a close look. It had a little drop tie uh, off the sides, you know, making it a nine point deer. And I had never shot a drop tie deer. So, I got to tell you, that one got my heart beat just a little bit quick. I was just excited about it. And uh, I looked at it and I said, wow, you got the gun to do it in your hand. And I knew the handgun was fun to, to, to kill this thing, that the 500 is a pretty prominent handgun. It's got a lot of energy and, and just can take down just about anything that walks the face of the earth. What a great hunt. Boy, I tell you what, I, this is so exciting. Unbelievable. Did it with a handgun. I gotta tell you, it doesn't get any better than this. I'm having so much fun. My heart's pounding right now. It's such a good hunt. Boy, he went nowhere. He, uh, he went about five or six steps and just rolled up, curled in, and just dropped down a spot. I tell you what, what a great hunt. I get a charge out of handgun hunting, and boy, this one was a thrill just like they all are. Thanks for dropping by, Paul, and adding that drop time to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. When we come back, we'll take a look at another handgun hunt when the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries returns. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Angle Coolers, a legend in reliability. Smith & Wesson Performance Center, performance when it matters most. Conquest Sense, Hunting scents and dog training scents. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes. Light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot high viz. See what you've been missing. What I love about the Bradley Smoker is that it cooks everything perfectly and it holds all the juices in. So today we are going to be smoking some barbecue ribs, some venison sausage, and some dove, which is awesome. You will never grill me doves again. <laughs> I have to have them in the Bradley Smoker. I would prefer to use the Bradley Smoker every time I cook. Well, that's really true because I love this thing. No lie. For more recipes, log on to bradleysmoker.com. Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of five stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. The thing about public land is that most people hunt the same old beaten path. The thing about you is, you're not most folks. Introducing the new TC Compass, only by Thompson Center. 
Follow your own compass with America's master gun maker. Stealth Cam. Trail cameras with features you demand. With the durability and performance you can count on. Built to withstand even the harshest conditions. Stealth Cam. Join the Trail Cam Revolution. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Every year out at Deer Camp is the annual Yamaha Riders event, where industry riders from all over get to come out and enjoy the Yamaha lineup of ATVs and side-by-sides, as well as do some hunting. Dick Williams, a longtime handgun hunter, has joined us this year, and we'll join him out in the field as he hunts with a handgun. It's a 44 Special. It's an older model, Smith & Wesson, and um, it's not a design for a massively heavy cartridge, although we could load that up pretty heavily if we wanted to. I just wanted to use all factory stuff. The biggest thing about it is it belonged to a guy named James Guthrie, a good friend of mine, writer, editor, and he passed away very suddenly at the age of 38. And I got a call and a list of, of his guns. Uh, his wife was selling the estate. And I put a bid on in this and got it. It's one of my favorite all-time cartridges. Um, and I like the end frame Smiths, and it was James's, so I thought that would be perfect. And it's more of a in-memory kind of hunt, very special. a dandy this morning. You just couldn't get him to where I had a view and get the sights on him, but what a nice rack on him. A little trouble keeping him straight from the second best one in there for a bit, but as it got lighter it got easier, easier, and just more and more frustrating when he would not come to an opening where I could get at him through the brush. Great looking deer. Great morning. You know, we've been moving Dick around to a couple of different locations, having quite a few encounters. It's just a matter of now getting him set up in the right situation. And the weather has finally changed a little bit more in our favor. It's been raining almost nonstop since they got here, but now it's starting to dry up. The deer are getting on their feet, and we think we've got him positioned exactly where we need to to pull the trigger. Side picture looked pretty good, but it was dark. The sights are dark. They look like they're in the right spot. 
He reacted like he was hit somewhere in the cavity. <laughs> I think, I so, James, if he's down, it's for you. If he's not down, on me. After years of handgun hunting and long range competition, I either got buck fever or stupid or both. Uh, I pushed the light envelope, tried to take a shot with iron sights, maybe three to five minutes before there was adequate light. Um, so we hit him high in the back. From all appearances on that, it was above the lung because there was no blood later, no blood trail, but it was below the backbone because he showed no shock or trauma on that impact. When you do something like that, it's mixed emotions. He was so good looking, I'd like to see him on somebody's wall. On the other hand, my mistake, I hope he has many happy marriages between now and when he's harvested, makes lots of little baby deer that grow up to be as big and good looking as he is. All told, it was a great, great time. We're happy to report that Dick's deer was spotted happily chasing does two weeks later. And who knows, perhaps Dick can get another crack at him next season. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Sawyer Products. We keep you outdoors. High Viz Shooting Systems. See what you've been missing. Do all outdoors. Treat your gear once with Sawyer Insect Repellent and go hunt the rest of the season. Sawyer, no ticks, no mosquitoes, simply better. I've never shot a multicolored pig like that. That is just awesome. First pig with the crossbow. I am pumped and excited. If you enjoy the outdoors, you're gonna wanna have a Bubba Blade by your side. Introducing the Bubba Blade Rhino, AKA the stubby skinning knife. Well, on this pig today, the, I used the Bubba Blade stubby. I mean, that thing worked phenomenally. We've shortened up the handle to four inches and put a razor sharp four inch skinning blade on it to make the perfect skinning and gutting knife. You'll be able to work close in with ease. Like all Bubba Blades, the knife features our patented handle that gets sticky when wet, so it won't slip out of your hand while you're working. Combined with our razor sharp skinning blade, you have one kick ass knife. Go online at BubbaBlade.com to order your Bubba Blade today. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers, go with the original. Nikon's no-fault policy was created for those who continually push the envelope, travel the farthest, stay the longest, brave the most hostile elements. We do our best to deliver on our promise of a lifetime of performance. And we'll stand with you should accidents happen. Trust, earned, Nikon, When you're out hunting, make sure you're carrying Grove Tech. Grove Tech is designed specifically for the rigorous demands of the hunt and sets the standard for strength and ruggedness when out in the field. Grove Tech products have simply built the best tools for the job and are proudly made in the USA. Go hunt. We'll carry the gun. Grove Tech. When it comes to racing big deer, Purina is the leader in deer nutrition research. Our Antler Max research and development team is committed to developing products that provide results in your deer management program with a difference you can see. If you're ready to take your deer operation to the next level, look no further than Purina's new and improved Antler Max premium deer feeds. You can find them at your local Purina retailer. Purina Antler Max premium deer feed, a difference you can see. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. 
You know, early in November every year, right when the, the rifle season's kicking off in the state of Texas, we host this great big Yamaha Riders event. We're bringing in several Yamaha staff members. We're bringing in a mix of people from the outdoor hunting, fishing, and ATV industry together, and we all gather at the camp and we go hunting. And we're gonna have people like Gordon Whittington, a seasoned veteran. You know, I get to go on a lot of deer hunts. I guess I've hunted 40 states and provinces in the last 30 something years at North American Whitetail and we go into a brand new ranch. This is a place that Wade had, had for a while but had never hunted this one spot. So he had no blind set up there and really except for some trail cam photos of, of some deer coming in there to feed, he really had not a lot of what you'd call intel on the place but he just had a feeling it was a place that was worth checking out. I'm always up for a new challenge even if there's no blind there, no stand. I, I, I never mind going into a place and just kind of winging it. As soon as we got these little brush blinds built and there's a young buck coming out there to feed and so if we'd have been a few minutes later we might have spooked him out of there but fortunately we got set up before he got there. And then as the afternoon went on we didn't see tons of deer but we, we kept seeing a few deer here and there, does and fawns come out. I think there was a little spike at one point came out to feed and you know it just kept getting later and later in the day but, but the rain had stopped and we felt like it was going to be a good afternoon possibly to see a mature buck. It just felt like one of those times in one of those places where you could see one pop out at any moment. And sure enough, right before we, the end of shooting light and the end of camera light, we did have a really good buck come in. And then we'll always bring in somebody new to the mix. And this year, we've got Vern from Dirt Tracks TV. He'll be on his first whitetail hunt. This most recent trip got me really excited. I have never hunted before. It's uh, something that's always intrigued me. Uh, we obviously have a lot of uh, outdoorsmen within Dirt Tracks, but when Yamaha called, I didn't want to miss out. These two eight-point buck show up. And um, I noticed the one first, but then Steve quickly got his uh, uh, binoculars on the one and uh, definitely said, these are capers. If we can get one of them, we're gonna be really, really lucky today. This week is always a special week at the Whitetail Diaries camp because we're eating good, we're playing, we're enjoying camaraderie in the field and hopefully knocking down a few good whitetail bucks. Now during the Yamaha media event, it's a time to really showcase, drive and test a wide lineup of Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides. The staff and media on hand will be able to test these models in the field and elsewhere under a mix of conditions. During the week-long event ahead, we'll see the powerful Yamaha Grizzly 700 4x4 in action in a mix of conditions that would mimic anything a hunter nationwide would handle, as well as the Yamaha Kodiak, which makes working hard look easy with its size and powerful features. Now, in addition to the popular ATVs heading into the field, we'll see a wide range of the family of Yamaha side-by-sides in action, such as the aggressive Yamaha Wolverine, which offers superior handling and an exciting ride in a variety of off-road environments to and from deer stands, while still being able to haul the gear needed for a pair of hunters. Then we'll see the Yamaha Viking, which features true three-passenger seating and is a vehicle we've proven time and time again to be a workhorse in the field for the Whitetail Diaries team by performing every time we asked. Then we'll have a chance to put the new Yamaha Viking Ranch Edition into the field. This machine will catch your eye with true class and style while hauling you and five of your buddies to and from the stand, thanks to its true six-passenger seating. So stay tuned as we join newcomers and seasoned vets on the next Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Thanks for watching Whitetail Diaries. And remember, you can follow along on Facebook and Instagram. It's very simple. Go look up our pages, Whitetail Diaries, and you'll have a chance to win prizes and see some of our latest adventures. About time to head back to our favorite person in camp, Miss Angel, who's gonna fix us some good grub. We're gonna have a hot breakfast, some more hot coffee, and then probably go tell lies to each other about what great shots we were this morning. It's a Texas hunt.